afternoon guys welcome to or welcome back to the channel today we're back on the burnout truck and if you can't tell this video was actually filmed before the reveal video because there's still stuff wrong with it obviously it isn't already lower because we're putting this video out it's stuff like the front bumpers and rear bumpers are missing but today we are going to be lowering the rear of the truck now it has got that classic truck rate going on to it where the front is significantly lower than the rear so to combat this we have ordered two inch drop shackles from max track suspension and they are going to drop our rear down for us back pretty close to where the front is so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get some measurements we're going to measure where it sits right now where the front sits where the rear sits we're not changing the front we're just changing the rear but we're just going to get a ref and we're going to pull it in the shop we're going to put those on it's pretty easy and simple to do we've been dousing the uh, bolts and stuff down with pb blaster and stuff for a while so they should come out pretty easy we're going to put the kit in then we're going to measure and see how much we actually get out of it but in conjunction with me doing this uh you guys we have been running the burnout truck kind of every weekend and making sure that all the kinks are out of it and it has destroyed its cam position sensor i don't know if it destroyed it it was the original it's got 368,000 miles on it and it's a very good chance that that was the original cam position sensor so the unfortunate part is you have to pull the intake to do this when we say like when we say we've been running it it's gonna be solid for cletus and cars oh gosh uh, yeah i mean i mean running it running i'm not like oh i got on it on the way to the grocery store no it's like 6500 <laughs> rpm nitrous hits. yeah nitrous hits and you know racing in other countries and stuff like that yeah. so let's get this thing in here let's get some measurements and uh he's gonna start on the cam position sensor and i'm gonna start on lowering it all righty guys so we're gonna get some measurements here before which like i said the front is just kind of is what it is we're not changing it so if you go from the center of the wheel tire there up to the center of the fender you end up with yeah, just barely over 34. Well, we'll call it, or just under actually. We'll call it 34 inches right there on the front. And that is down to the ground, center of the wheels, center of the fender. Coming back here to the back, we are, we were 34 up front. And we are uh, about 36 and three quarter, pretty much 37. I mean, we're dang close to 37 right there. So... These are supposed to drop us down two inches, so hopefully we'll end up about 35 or just a little bit under it once we put the shackles inside of it. So let me explain to you guys where this goes in case some of you don't know. So right there is your factory shackle per se. Here is our new one. So what we're doing is you're taking the leaf spring and raising it up, which in turn is going to drop the body of the truck and frame down because you've got the shackle taking the leaf spring up and you know of course that's going to correlate to having the whole frame and everything else sit down lower so what i've got to do is i've got to jack the truck up i got to take these two bolts and nuts out and uh, then i can undo the leaf spring and undo this bottom bolt and get the shackle out so that's gonna be the first step yo guys what's up it's actually the next day on this uh <clears throat> lowering the burnout truck video last night we had so many problems we just couldn't get the bolts out bolts were breaking just nothing was going right and we both had to be up early for our jobs the next morning so we went ahead and called it a night pretty early um but as you can see this is one of the ones that we were having the problem with and we actually cut the shackle to try to get it off better and still wouldn't even come out because it's kind of in a bind so i'm gonna zip this off with the sawzall and then we're gonna get that this piece of the kind of shackle out and then after that we're ready to install the new ones and this thing will be lowered so stay tuned all right let me update y'all a little bit so i got this side cut off on this side it's being a pain the sawzall literally won't cut through like there's a metal uh it's kind of like a metal spacer between the bolt you have the bolt then you have the the metal spacer and then you have the bushing then you have the bracket so i'm literally having to drill the head off of this one because the sawzall won't cut through that like that thick metal casing and I can't get the grinder back in there. So I'm trying to get this thing zipped off and then uh, I'll pick up the camera when I'm done with that. All right, so we finally got this thing up out of here. Let me throw it over there. And now Austin's here. I'm telling you what, I ain't never. If you've got a 360 or 70,000 mile truck, it's just might not go good for you. <laughs> I mean, that's just the cold hard honest truth there. Uh, we literally chopped it up to get it out. So. 
Hopefully the ones holding the leaf springs do treat us a little bit nicer than that one did, but we're getting ready to find that out. I've literally been working on this for like 45 minutes since he got here and we just now got it out, but we'll let you know how these come out on the upper, the, the ones on the upper leaf spring and pick back up the camera. Alrighty guys, so we're about ready to drop it down and show you what it looks like. But let me show you, uh, once you get, <laughs> like you can see on this side, it's easy. Once you get to this point, you just put your two bolts back in like you did. You've got two settings on these. You could actually not go as low as we've went here and uh, keep it raised up a little bit if you want to. We went for the lowest setting. So you got the bottom bolt in, top bolt in. Do the same thing on the other side and then you're ready to drop it. So, all right, Austin, let's see what she looks like. Hang on, we got some jack stands. Ready? All right, Austin, over or down? Oh, it's so much better. So much better. Oh, yeah. All right, yes. what were we at before? What measurement? So, well, uh, it's, an, it's another day, but I think we were 35 in the front and 37 in the rear, if I'm not mistaken. So, find where we set the tape measure down and see what we got. See what you got there. We're a little over 30. Actually, I don't know where we were at. 37. Just under 36 inches. Uh, like 35 and 38 or 7 eighths. And in the front, we are a little bit lower still. We are 34 and an eighth. So we still got about an inch difference, but it's way better than it was. It looks way better. And uh, we've talked about taking that overload spring out. Yeah. If we took the overload spring out, we would gain. 35. Almost, we could almost get it matched if we took the overload spring out, which is this right here. Cause it gets, it turns into almost an inch thick at the center. So we might do that to get it perfectly all the way across, but. I don't know, I kind of like it. I mean, I, I like it too. There's nothing wrong with that. And. You know, if we went with a little bit of a lower profile tire, we could go down. But I think it looks good like that. I like it. So, it's as simple as it gets. I'll put the kit down in the description below. It's extremely affordable. It's not expensive. And uh, I'll let you know how it works out. It's raining right now, so we can't pull it outside and do a video of it. But if you want to see what it looks like lowered, all said and done, go check out the reveal video that we put up. And you can see what, it's, what it looks like on the road and stuff like that. So... Clean and easy install, aside from that bulk getting stuck in it. But I appreciate you guys watching. You got something to add? Not today. All right. Yeah, me too. I'm, I just, I've been on the road for nine hours and then came down here. So, appreciate you guys watching. Drop any comments you got down below. Don't forget to follow me over Instagram at Austin04 underscore Z71. Hit that subscribe button. Take care. Have a great day.